I'm also thankful for my family, as I said to you a moment ago. A few years ago, my family came out to Long Island where we lived. It was uh, Pastor Dave's family. And they came, and before they came, I, 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 I wanted to be, I was looking forward to their coming. I always look forward to their headlights as I see them drive up in the driveway. And I hate to see their taillights when it disappears around the corner. And I wanted to write a Christmas letter to thank them for what joy they brought to me. As I look at the history of my life, and as I said to you a moment ago, family is very, very important to me. And so... Um, I read a letter to them, and then when they left, I stayed up a little late, kind of looked at the Christmas tree lights, and I was led, I had a cocktail moment. I, I wanted to thank my sons and, and their wives and, and their kids. And so I started to write letters to each of them. I'm in the process of still writing to some of them, my, my other grandkids how I, as my son's father and also grandfather to my grandkids, <coughs> allow me to read to you one of the first letters that I wrote. It's, it's to my son David. You know him as Pastor Dave. And this is what I wrote to express my gratitude and thanksgiving to him. And guys, let me make sure that you you have a carpe moment. Thank the people in your life. Because there may come a day when you don't have an opportunity. Seize the moment. Rise up and call them blessing. Let me share this with you. Dear Dave, it was a terribly hot and humid day when you were born in Great Falls, Montana on August 23rd, 1969. Temperature soared to an unbelievable 112 degrees. Yet it was a wonderful day. And I know I'm bragging when I said you were the coolest kid born on that day. And I felt like the coolest dad in that hospital. Nothing gave me more joy and blessing than being a father to you. For a son who means all the world to me. Few months before your birth, Ma and I were driving out to Washington to the Warm Beach Bible Camp when we finally decided what your name would be. I was so proud to give you my middle name, Thor, which belonged to your first brother, Kevin Thor, who now is in heaven today with Jesus. Just think, Dave, someday you're going to meet him brother you never knew, you never met. I wonder what that day will be like for you. Oh, what a day of rejoicing that will be for you and your brothers, and especially for your mom and me. You know, when a child is brought into this world, they don't give you a manual on how to raise a son. But I knew from my heart that I would always love you and be there for you, no matter what. That's a pretty good formula because you turned out okay as a kid growing up. And now you are a grown man and a great father to two beautiful children who I deeply love and care for. As you know, I, I never really knew my dad. I wish I did. Sometimes I wish I was a little kid again because skinned knees are easier to heal than a broken David, love your precious children as a gift from God every day. Hug them, kiss them, and let them know with your heart and with your words, Olivia, I love you. Micah, I love you. If you truly love them, they will one day rise up and call you blessed. You will have taught them many wonderful and precious truths often unknowingly at times for which they will ever be grateful. David, when you pray for them, ask the Lord to give you eyes that see the best in your kids, a heart
heart that forgives the worst and a mind that forgets the bad. And a father that never loses faith in Jesus. And then as you watch your children grow, may you never forget what is worth remembering and always leave behind what is best forgotten. For good memories and strong families are built on that kind of foundation and will become a springboard for your kids when they one day become parents as well. I love the passage in Scripture that speaks well of King David. After leading Israel in worship, David, remembering the awesome things God had done for Israel himself, was so incredibly blessed that he, well, let this verse speak for itself. Then all the people left, each for his own home. And David returned home to bless his family. That's you, David. What an incredible blessing you are. Not only to the people of Bethel Church, but more importantly to your own family. I am so extremely proud of you, David, for letting God lead you to the privilege of proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Your leadership and excellent preaching have blessed so many that one day in heaven, even you will be surprised by the lives that you have touched for the Lord. Another verse that speaks well of you as a pastor and as a father is Psalm 78, 72. And David shepherded them with integrity of heart, and with skillful hands he led them. David, there are so many things I could write about you, but I just want you to never forget how much joy and happiness you have given your mom and me over the years. You and your wonderful brothers are the most important investment mom and I have ever made in our lives. I love you, David. I love you, Michelle. I love you, Olivia. And I love you, Michael. And oh yes, I love Amos too. That's their dog. <laughs> Forever in my heart, love, Dad. Make this a special Thanksgiving when you go home. Be sure to thank the people in your life. Give them that opportunity to let them hear how you feel about them. Especially Mom and Dad, your brothers and sisters, your friends, your classmates. Seize the day. Have a safe and wonderful Thanksgiving. The Lord bless you.